Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to CapCut's YouTube channel. My name is Orchada Soto, and today I'm going to show you how to do keyframe animations through CapCut PC, like this, and like this. You got it? Cool? All right, let's start. Make sure you're subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel. I've been using CapCut for over two years now, and it's amazing that I can now share these tutorials with you guys. Retention is key when you do a video on social media nowadays. You want to keep your audience engaged and not give them a reason to click off. And you've probably seen a lot of videos with zoom in and zoom outs, or an image gets brought in and pushed to the side. Chances are, they probably use keyframing. CapCut Desktop makes it so easy to use. And keyframing can go beyond images and videos. Like for example, you can turn on the volume to a video turn it all the way back up. And I'll show you how to do that as well. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is launch CapCut and start a brand new project. You're then going to import the footage that you wanna keyframe. And once you have that, you're going to throw that into your timeline. I'm gonna do a quick zoom in. So I'm gonna find a piece in this clip where I wanna do that effect. You see how my arms stretch out? I think that would look really good. So I'm going to use the split tool right here to get the part that I want and then delete this and delete that. Now I got the clip where I want to do the zoom in. So here we go. All the way to the right, make sure you're on that video tab and make sure you're on that basic sub tab. And again, our keyframe is a zoom in, so it's going to be position and size. And all the way to the right, you see this little diamond looking thing? Well, right there it says add keyframe. So you click that and now that diamond is blue. Now you're going to go where you want that zoom out to appear, which I think right here I feel good. And you're going to click on that diamond one more time. And right there, you're going to zoom it in. Let me just adjust the positioning as well. And now let's play that back. And now you know how to do a simple zoom in with keyframing. But we're just getting started. Let me show you a couple other cool tricks. Now I'm gonna show you how to keyframe an image, but this time around, we're gonna move it left to right. All right, so in my video, I got this cool little part where I move my hand left to right. And I think it'd be cool to put an image right there. <laughs> that looks better. Okay, so we're going to import the image into our project and then we're going to throw it into the timeline. Oh, and make sure the image is above your video in the timeline. That way you can see it. So I'm going to stop the video right before I start the motion of my hand movement. And I'm going to throw a keyframe right there. And then the very second that my hand gets to the other side, I'm going to throw another keyframe and move the image all the way to the other side. And I noticed I actually moved my hand back as well. So you know what we got to do? We got to move that image back as well. Throw in another keyframe and move the image all the way back to that original side. Side. All right, and now let's see how that looks. There's a little tiny part where my hand moves a little slower and we're able to adjust that as well with keyframing. All right, let's fix that a little bit. All right, now let's see the finished product. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. I can't believe how easy they make it with CapCut Desktop. And that's not all. Did you know that you can also keyframe text? Well, let me show you how. So I found the footage that I want to use for this effect, and it's me pointing up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the text tab on the left, and I think we'll do default. I'm a fan of the default text on CapCut. Adjust the sizing a little bit. You know what? I'm actually feeling a bit of a preset right now. One that I've been using a lot is this one with the red outline. Yeah, I've been using it a lot in my videos. <laughs> it pops out. So now we're going to make sure that we're selecting the text, and I'm going to scroll a little bit down where it says position and size. And you see that thing right there? You know what that is? It's a little keyframe. So we're gonna click on that right where the animation starts when I move my fingers up. And then we're gonna go a little down the timeline. Right there looks good. Add another keyframe, position the text all the way up. Now let's see how that looks. Yeah. That looks amazing, that looks dope. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen, because you can also keyframe audio. So like the previous examples, you're going to import the footage where you want to use this effect on. For this, you're not going to be on the video tab, you're going to be on the audio tab. I'm then going to stop at the point where I want to start the dip in the volume. And right there, you see, ladies and gentlemen, what is that? That's your good old friend, the keyframe. So you're going to add one of those and make sure you haven't touched the volume yet. I'm going to fade it out a little bit. Then I'm going to stop at the part where I want the volume to be at its lowest right there, right after I finish that part. And for this part, you can play around with the level of the volume, you know, set it to how loud or how quiet you want. And then you really can't hear yourself right now, but... So for this example, you can hear how quiet it is, right? Well, that whole phrase, I want it to stay at that level. So you're going to add another keyframe and make sure it stays at that volume. But then you start turning it up again. So right here, I want the keyframe to begin. And I'm gonna to get to the part where I finish my phrase. And then we're gonna add another keyframe. And this is where I bring the volume back up. And you can kind of see in your project how the sound waves dip and then come back up. So let's play this example. So for example, if you're talking, but then you kind of want to fade it out a little bit, and then you really can't hear yourself right now, but then you start turning it up again. So you can control the volume that way. And I'll show you guys how to as well through CapCut. 
And I just did it. I just showed you guys how to do that on CapCut. And now that you have this tool to your disposal, have as much fun with it. You can move images, videos, move yourself up and down because now you can. And if you had any other thoughts or any other tutorial ideas, feel free to comment them below. But anyways, I'll see you in the next tutorial. And for the time being, go out there and make some content. Bye.